how to create a mega menu in wordpress with elementor hey guys welcome back in this video i'll break down how you can build your menu in wordpress using elementor now elementor is a tool that allows you to customize your wordpress website and make it your own because building directly on wordpress can be such a hassle so what this allows you to do is that with elementor you can really make your website appear as you envision it and as you imagine it so let's get started so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to head on over to your wordpress dashboard once you do that you can just click on visit site and keep in mind i already have some default pages there isn't a lot in this website but it's just uh, to show you guys how you're going to formulate your navigation menus so i'm going to click on visit site over here and make sure you have elementor installed already and once you visit your site you have the option to edit with elementor so you're going to click on edit with elementor and once you click on this option this will open up the elementor wordpress editor where you can get started with editing with the elementor so now i have opened this up you guys will see on your top we have our simple navigation that was you know added in this particular template we have multiple different options we have layout options now this particular template is a bit different because i did you know import this from astro templates so for this i'm gonna go back and as you guys can see we have our site settings so in our site settings we have our global colors global fonts site identity layouts um backgrounds as well so one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the site name to Dear Den, and then I'm going to click on update over here. Once I do that, I'm going to go back into our basic site editor. And from here, you can see on the left panel, you have your elements and then on the right, you have globals as well. So we're going to go into our theme builder and in our theme builder we're going to get started with building our header so you can choose the header and you can upgrade to add that specific item into your theme if you want however we're just looking to focus on a menu so if you scroll down over here in the left panel we're going to scroll down a little and you will see a bunch of different options but you can see you have a navigation menu and a mega menu so you're going to click on the mega menu over here and this has now created our mega menu and i'm just going to move this to the top of our screen now i can remove this template menu later on so i'm going to do that later and i'm just going to select this and move this to the top section over here like this now once i have moved my mega menu to the top you will see multiple different options so on the left you have your content width if you want it to be boxed or full width then you have you know the size and how large you want your mega menu to be and then the height of your menu as well after that you have the direction so if you want this to be a vertical menu if you want this to be reversed as well and then you have your justified content and then alignment options as well if you want this to be stretched and if you want this to be in the center or the start and then you have the gaps so you can increase or decrease the gaps as well and then you have the wrap option and the additional option such as the style of your mega menu so you can click on style on the top and then you can choose your background type if you want a gradient if you want a video within your mega menu so a lot of these options are not options you actually end up looking at if you're just browsing for the first time because these options actually make your headers and you know your basic menu bars look very appealing so if i was to expand my header so if i was to you know add a video what i would do is i would go into my content and this is like our content so we have the menu items and we have the horizontal layout and then the menu i have only created one menu in my wordpress dashboard so it's going to be the only one that's going to appear then you have your menu items so maybe i want them to be double lined 
and after that we have our request a new feature we can request you know multiple different types of features but what i'm going to do is i can go into my typography i'll adjust the size a little to make it a little larger and then after that we have our line height as well so i'm going to increase that a lot by a lot and then we have our icon distance border type we have the menu item bad so we have the vertical distances as well i'm going to increase the padding on certain elements as well over here and then we are going to continue on with the style elements so once you have completed this you have the advanced features if i go into the advanced section we can enter a larger margin as well and we can also expand you know the content element of the width and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to scroll down a little and we're going to add the grow effect and then we have the background i'm going to click on background and i'm going to choose a simple gradient for our background so we can just add the location like this you can choose the color that you want to use and we're going to select the colors over here so i'm going to choose two pink colors because i really want to do this in a pink shade like this i'm going to choose like a really nude pink and then after that i'm going to choose another shade of pink so we're going to make it like a slightly darker pink and then i can you know choose the location of the gradient to where the gradient should fall and then you can choose the location of you know your second color like this so the gradient looks a bit more submerged like so i'm gonna do this a little and then after that you have your type so if you want this to be a linear gradient or a radial one and then the angle as well so we can move it to this side as well to the other side at the top i'm going to move it to one side and then i am just going to also so i'm just going to increase the overall impact that it has and then we're going to darken it a little like this so this looks pretty nice then after that we have our border so i can enter a particular type of border so if i want a solid one if you want box shadows and more now after i have completed some of the basic styles of my mega menu in wordpress this is like our elementor menu i'm going to change the text color a bit too so after i have completed that i'm just going to click on update over here and just like that we have created our own customized menu in wordpress now once you have completed that you can go back and just go back into your site and click on view page to be able to see what your newly edited menu looks like so i'm just gonna go on ahead and we're just gonna proceed back into our dashboard i'm just gonna leave and then once we've done that we can click on visit site to take a look at what the current menu looks like this looks pretty nice but i would add some padding on this side because the text looks a bit uh wanky when it's uh, put to the side the underlined and overlined effect looks pretty good to me and then i can remove the default menu that comes with our wordpress template so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe